Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems. And in just a few minutes, I'd like to just walk you through visually what's new in Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. Well, I'm going to start in Photoshop, where I've got an image kind of selected with the Quick Select tool, and I'm getting kind of you know, a lot of the background as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Delete key. And what that will do is bring up the brand new Content Aware Fill. So when I click OK, Photoshop will kind of analyze the surrounding area to fill that object in with the area that would have been there had the person never been in the shot to begin with. Pretty cool, pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and pop over to Illustrator now, where I've got this nice perspective scene drawn. And really, that's what we're talking about is perspective drawing. So if I go to a brand new document, for example, I can bring up the brand new perspective grid tool, and I can even go in and choose presets. So for example, if I switch over to my perspective grid view from the view menu and choose one of my presets, I can even, even grab one that I pre-saved, and then I can go in and start drawing in perspective on that particular uh, grid. So for example, if I grab my star tool, pick a color, we'll go over here and just grab a nice red color. And now when I draw, I can pick which plane I'm going to draw on, and it will actually draw in perspective on that particular object. Even as I move, I can get the object to move in perspective and size down. Now if we pop back over to the original here, we can go ahead and choose a different view and look at our flat elements here. And what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and just zoom in on the faces. And in this case, we're going to use our brand new uh, variable width tool. What this allows me to do is just vary the width of a path, even or evenly, or all you know one side or the other by holding down an, an option or alt modifier key. Very very cool. Now let's go over to InDesign. And in InDesign, <clears throat> it's just so many things I could show, but I'm going to go ahead and just right click on this in Mini Bridge, which is in addition to Photoshop, InDesign, and and some of the other products as well. I'm just going to go ahead and say you know what, I want to show the linked files for this other InDesign document. Then I want to grab four of the linked files, and I want to drag them into my InDesign document. And as I do that, InDesign will do a multi-place as it always has, but now as I drag this place out, which would normally give me one image, I can tell it to give me all four images at the same time. And that is extremely useful, extremely time-saving, and then, of course, I can fill those frames proportionally, and I can even grab the new uh, move abilities to move this object without having to deselect my frames. And again, I could spend so much more time on this. But let's go ahead and switch over to Dreamweaver. Now, Dreamweaver is one of those products that if you know how to use it, it's great, but if you don't, then you're going to kind of be like, what do I do now? So one of the things that we've done is streamline even things like just creating a new site. So I'll just call this one New. We can, all we have to do now is tell it where we want it, and what Dreamweaver will do is eliminate all of those extra questions and just create the site. And for example, if I go ahead and say that I want a new HTML page, we've eliminated a lot of the guesswork in uh, creating the either the code view or design view, and you also have the ability to do it directly from a template. So these templates have been streamlined to make it easier, more visual for you to know exactly what kind of site you're building or what kind of page you're building. And more importantly, if I go over to this page that's already built, I can look at the new live code view. And not only can I uh, test my code and test it interactively now, but I can get an idea of what's being written so that I get, it, I get to learn how this is all done. Now let's switch over to Flash. Well, again, if you're not a Flash developer, you know, this can be kind of intimidating not knowing what to do. So we've taken a lot of steps to provide you just what you want right up front of what kind of document you want to create. And more importantly, we now can actually create applications for the iPhone. So you can go ahead and start out with a brand new iPhone document, create your animation, create your content for it, and package it and put it right up on the App Store directly out of Flash Professional. It will write the code necessary to make that into an iPhone app. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at one of our new products, Flash Catalyst. Flash Catalyst allows me to design front ends to applications without having to know code or without having to write code. So for example, even if I t just do something as simple as take these two objects, which are graphics, and I want to convert them into a scroll bar. I can do that directly inside of Flash Catalyst without having to go through all the necessary steps 
that it would take to learn to write the code to make this the thumb and learn to write the code to make this the track. And then it just becomes a workable scroll bar just by assigning it to the content that it needs to scroll. Just visually, easily, and dynamically right inside of Flash Catalyst. So that's just a quick walkthrough of what's new inside of Creative Suite Design Premium. Now again, Creative Suite 5 has a ton, over 250 new features, but I only had a few minutes just to show you a few highlights, so I invite you to dive in deeper, go download the trial, and check it out.